Thursday night football. The New Orleans Saints travel to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Today, I got my favorite player prop, spread pick. Same game parlay and a first touchdown score coming your guys' way. All I can ask is that this Thursday night football game is better than the last two have been, and hopefully that's the case. But still, regardless, we've been crushing these primetime slates last week on Thursday and Monday night football. We swept. We're 4-0 on the week. Commanders money line. Justin Fields over in passing yards. Chargers team total under. And Mike Williams under in receiving yards. We can't ask for much more on the week. Two and three for game pick, six and three on player props. Let's keep it rolling into week seven. If you're new, my name is Austin from Call on a Shot. I appreciate you for coming out to this video. We have a ton of other content on the channel, including my three favorite spread and over under picks for week seven in the NFL. That video was posted earlier today or on Wednesday. Go check that video out. It'll be linked at the end and in the comment section down below. We've been crushing those spreads and over unders all season long. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you're new. Let's hop into my player prop for this game, and I think you heard of this guy. Alvin Kamara, we're taking his over 98 and a half rushing plus receiving yards, minus 115 on DraftKings. I'll have to abbreviate on the screen for rush plus receiving, but still, you look at FanDuel, they're going to release a line for this probably a little bit closer to game time. Probably sometime on Thursday, they should release a line. Normally, they do theirs as receiving plus rushing, but they should get a line on there. And if you only have one, you're like, Austin, you're going down in the comments, Austin, you like rushing or receiving yards more. I lean towards his rushing yards. I'll give you a spoiler. He'll be in this uh, same game parlay for just rushing yards. Now, let's talk about the reason I'm on rushing plus receiving, though. Well, it's a little bit of a mini hedge on the game script because what happens if the Saints go down 100 points? I don't expect them to be down by 100, but it could happen. They're going to be throwing the lot ball a lot more than running it, and that means we see Alvin Kamara with more receiving yards. If maybe they're up by a bunch, Kamara is going to be running the ball a little bit more, hence why I do rushing plus receiving. Now, either way, the Saints are going to look to get the ball into his hands against the Cardinals. Obviously, we got to look at some injuries. Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry, both are out. Andrus Pete, I definitely butchered that name, is definitely their offensive guard. He's also out for this game, and that's going to be a loss for this offensive line, which is one of the better ones in the NFL, but I think they'll be able to make do with it against this Cardinals front. Now, over the last two weeks, when you know you saw Kamara get healthy, look at these stats. Two weeks ago, 103 rushing yards and 91 receiving yards versus the Seahawks, and then last week, 99 rushing yards, 25 receiving yards versus the Bengals. Their key point? They're giving him the ball, and really with all these guys out, with Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry out, have really no other person to give it to the ball, the ball to. He saw 29 and 25 touches over the last two games. And like I said, they're limited on playmakers, and the Cardinals have a good secondary. Byron Murphy Jr. clamped up DK Metcalf last week. That's why we took DK Metcalf's under five and a half receptions. No sweat bet. And look, he's probably going to do the same to a guy like Chris Olave, a rookie. So I expect the ball to be going to Kamara, whether it's out of the backfield, just catching it, or he's running the ball. And last week, you saw the Seahawks play the Cardinals. Kenneth Walker, a rookie, getting his first ever NFL start. 97 rushing yards and 13 receiving yards. He's not even a guy that's been known in college to be a guy that catches a lot of passes out of the backfield, and he still was able to get it done easily, cashing the over. Earlier this season, a guy very similar to the skill set Kamara has, Christian McCaffrey. He cashed this line pretty easily. Didn't get 110 rushing and receiving yards combined. And that was with eight rushing attempts. I expect Kamara to have more than eight rushing attempts this weekend or on this Thursday night game. And ultimately, I think they're going to want to get in the ball on a 15 to 20 rushing attempts, three to five receptions or so. And if you're telling me, Austin, Kamara's going to get 20-ish touches, Sure, I'll take him his, his chances to get over 100 plus rushing plus receiving yards. You look at his rush attempts prop sitting at 15 and a half. I like that over. His receptions line sitting at four and a half. Don't really want to take the over, but it's good plus money. Kamara, four, 19 career games with 14 or more rushing attempts. He's had 100 plus scrimmage yards in 13 of nine of those 19 career games with that many rushing attempts or with rushing attempts. Also, Mark Ingram, sidelined with a little bit of an injury throughout the practice reports this week. I expect him to be out there and playing, but still, he only played like 25, 30 ish percent of snaps last week. Kamara's going to be the guy. I think he's going to have a big day. We're taking his over 98 and a half rushing plus receiving yards. Like I said, I lean his rushing if you don't have both of them. Now, let's move on to my spread pick. And as much as I hate to do this, Rolling with the Saints, plus two and a half, minus 110 on BetMGM. I don't anticipate this line going to plus three, but obviously if you can get the plus three and you don't have to pay a heavy premium, take that, because that's obviously you would rather than lose by a field goal, you still get your money. But I think this is going to be a, a two and a half to maybe two line close, closing in at the game time. But look at the Cardinals, and I've said it time and time again, and I'll say it again for you guys. We fade the Cardinals at home. They are very bad there. This season, 0-3 straight up, 1-2 against the spread, and we're not counting on the Saints to come out here and win this game. Now, granted, it would be nice if they won it. I think they're plus 110, plus 115 on the money line, but they could still lose by two points, and we would still cash just plus 2.5. Now, since 2019, Cliff Kingsbury took over as head coach. Well, they've been even worse at home, like I've been talking about. 9-7, 9-7, and 
17 and one again straight up at home 10 and 17 against the spread at home and 4 11 against the spread as a favorite at home they've really struggled at home and i think that's going to continue the saints defense let's be honest can't be any worse than it has been the last two weeks they have to show up i know they're down marshawn Lattimore. he's already ruled out but it can't be worse at least I hope not. I think they're going to come out here, play inspired defense, and versus the Cardinals team that just scored only nine points against the Seahawks, one of the worst defenses in the league. And look, the Cardinals still going to be without probably James Conner, Darrell Williams, you know, Benjamin, their new starting running back was on the injury report. He'll probably be playing, but still, DeAndre Hopkins, great. He's back too. But they're down Marquise Hollywood Brown, who's the number one guy. DeAndre Hopkins just being chucked back into the fold. Hasn't been able to be with the team up until, I believe, Monday. So ultimately, I just think it's a lot to really handle. You got Rondell Moore, who has a case of DTM, which is doing too much, running backwards. I don't trust the Cardinals. I trust the Saints here to bounce back after their weird game. They lost to the Bengals. I know it's not a sexy pick. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. Give me the Saints plus the two and a half. You can sprinkle the money line if you really want to. Now let's move on to a same game parlay. We've been a little cold on these, but I'm going a little bit conservative this week. You'll understand why. Five legs plus 250 odds. Put them all up on the screen. Kamara, 50 plus rushing. Kyler Murray, 225 plus passing yards. And then Ertz and Moore, both 25 rushing receiving yards apiece. DeAndre Hopkins returning 40 plus receiving yards. Now, it seems like a lot of legs to just get plus 250 odds, but I really like all of them. We're going relatively safe. Just get a decent payout and go home with it. Now, let's talk about Kamara. Well, I don't need to beat it into your head even more and more. You know, I like Kamara and I like his rushing yards. Now, Kyler Murray, 225. Last week, Kyler hurt us. We took his passing yards over and he had, had a chance to get to it. Only ended up with 222, but, and he's only hit this line in three of six games. I think he at least gets to 225. He's going to be running all over the field and you can go to rushing yards if you want, but I think he's going to have to throw against the Saints and I think he'll be doing plenty of it. Now, basically when he's throwing, if he's going to get 225, you'd assume all the other three legs are probably going to hit as you got Ertz and Rondell Moore getting 25 apiece. Ertz has had 45 plus yards in four straight or five straight games. Rondo Moore has had 68 and 49 receiving yards in his last two games. He's going to see six to 10 targets, should be able to get it done. And DeAndre Hopkins, 40 plus receiving yards. His regular line is about 64, 62 and a half, somewhere in that range. And I don't necessarily know if he hits that, but you look at Hollywood Brown, who's out for this game. He had hit 40 plus receiving yards in six straight games, all six of them seeing plenty of targets. And while Hopkins probably doesn't see, you know, 100% of snaps, week one of him playing still to think he's gonna be out there he's gonna get some shots thrown his way and i don't expect robbie anderson the new carolina panther acquisition to steal a lot of targets maybe he goes deep a couple times but he shouldn't be play a big role in this offense on such a short week so all five legs plus 250 odds sign me up but you guys all know what time it is we're wrapping up the video first touchdown score we've hit a couple of these this season got a couple on thursday night let's do this one his name's Taysom Hill. We're taking him plus 950 on FanDuel. It's great value. Don't go bet it on Caesars. It's like plus 500 there. Get it on FanDuel at plus 950. Now, get Taysom Hill. If you're an Alvin Kamara fantasy owner, he's a glorified troll because this guy just comes in at the goal and joints every single touchdown from Alvin Kamara. He's like plus 190 to score a touchdown too, which I think is decent. But like I said, when the Saints are at the goal line, Taysom Hill's coming in at QB and he's bulldozing right up the middle. And that's just what you're going to have to deal with it. And the teams haven't been able to stop it. I don't know if they'll be able to stop it. The Cardinals, that is. They're about middle of the pack in terms of, you know, rushing yards per carry. And I think we'll see Taysom Hill. The Chiefs will be in effect on Thursday night football. Taysom's always going to show up and he's going to show up in a big way. He can obviously take one from 30 yards out into the end zone. But if they get close enough to it, Taysom Hill's going to probably be the guy that gets the ball. So give me him first touchdown score, a little bit of a sprinkle. You could go with the guy like DeAndre Hopkins. You're like, oh, first game back. He's going to get the ball a ton. He should be, but he's going to be chalky. A lot of people are going to be on him to be the first touchdown score give me Taysom Hill as the glorified troll that he is plus 950 I'll take a chance at it but that's going to wrap it up this video I hope you guys enjoy it Cardinals Saints hopefully it's a good game last couple Thursday nights have been duds I think this one we at least see a couple touchdowns scored at least hopefully that's the case my name's Austin signing out week seven best bets go check out that video see my three favorite spread and over under picks for this upcoming Sunday slate I appreciate you guys as always. It's the one with Sauce Gardner and the cheese head on the cover. See you guys in all the other NBA, NFL, and MLB videos coming your guys' way. I'll see you guys then. Peace.